All right, remove index signature. So we're going to implement this type, remove index signature. We're excluding the index signature from object types. It kind of is what it sounds like. So there's this thing, index signatures. Maybe it'd be nice to have a video about what this is sometime, because it is a kind of a weird thing that's very powerful, but I don't see a lot of people using. Um, and so what we're going to do in this is we're going to pass in something that has an index signature, like in this case, this line here with key and string for foo is the index signature, and we're going to remove it. So we'll just get back the things that are not index signatures back. Okie dokie. Where would you start on something like this? Seems like we're going to need a mapped type for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that it kind of feels like there's probably something somewhat arcane that is the key to figuring this one out. Uh, I, I feel like there's some syntax deep in my head somewhere that I've forgotten about that is important for this. There, There is a, I think I know what you're talking about. So if, if we do like a, okay, just to uh, P in key of T and then T, P, we've, we've seen this a thousand times. We just saw this in the last example. There is a yeah. syntax that you might be thinking of to remove uh, modifiers. So like if we have an optional modifier, you can put a minus sign before it to remove optional modifiers. Mm -hmm. um, you can also do that in the front here. Um, you can also do that. It's actually implied, which I think is kind of a funny quirk about TypeScript syntax that a lot of people, I didn't know anyway, that when you type this uh, with just the question mark there, actually TypeScript is implying a plus there which is kind of funny, but it's completely the same thing to do those. Uh, but anyway, that's an aside. It doesn't use, I don't have an example of a solution that uses those. Um, but there is a weird, there is a bit of a weird thing, which is that you use, to solve this, you use key, I think it's called key remapping. So P and key of T, and you say, you say as, have you seen this kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. So then you say as, and then we can start to do stuff inside of inside of here. So we can say like, uh, uh, you know, well, uh, there is a trick. I'm just gonna tell you. Can I just tell you? Because there is like a let's go for there it. is a Fine. trick. Okay. So uh, let's call this K, just to be weird about it. So I can say uh, P extends K, right? And then we'll put the true case here false uh we'll put the false case here so i don't does it not like those does it not like the uh, i don't think it's true and false perhaps in oh, oh okay sorry yeah, okay. yeah so let's keep moving so then what you can do is you can also uh flip it so if p extends k we'll just say never uh but if so we can also do this and it's kind of like a i don't know how to describe it there are a couple challenges that use this uh it's kind of like a uh like like an equality check you're saying p extends k k extends p and you're kind of going from both directions like that trying to trying to shore it up um maybe it's like a uh, inner join that sort of deal yeah um y yeah i think so that that probably makes that probably is a nice way to say it to do this also we have to constrain p to property key um, otherwise, it's going to give us that error. It, let me actually let me let me peel back the layers there and show what that error was. So error is saying, um, oh oh yeah, I have to I have to make a p right. But if we don't constrain it, um, then we'll get errors up here saying um, it requires two type arguments. We don't care about that. We're just trying to um, we're trying to grab a specific property key. So I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm doing a poor job of explaining that. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, this is one of the ways, the key ways that I saw people so solving this. Um, so to talk through it from the top, we take in a type. This this second argument here is for uh, kind of discretionary purposes. It's not something that we expect someone to pass in. So because we're referring to one specific key of T. So we're making this type K and we're saying is K a key of T and we're remapping it this way. When you remap, if you return never, it will exclude that value from the final mapping, from the final object. So that's what never is doing here. And actually, this is one of the reasons you'll see this, uh, you'll see this kind of thing a lot. Like we'll see exclude T from you or something like that inside of a mapping structure. If you look at the, 
if you look at exclude or extract, both of those get used in that situation. They both have a case where they return never. And that's actually what's going on if you ever see that in the key remapping. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what's going on there. There's another solution that I found, which is closer. I failed, of course. I'm a big fat failure. I fail a lot when doing these challenges by myself, if it makes anyone feel better. And when I was trying to work through it, this is the one that I got closest to. So here's another, let's just call this uh, P to keep things consistent. So this is a uh, type literals only, and it's trying to do the same work that property key was doing for us before. So this is kind of doing the job of constraining the values of P, uh, I guess before they were called K. So it's, it's doing that and see, we do it in the same place in the as section here. But we can get away without doing that if we just give it in the generic constraint like we saw. Um, yeah, any other um, any other thoughts on this one? Yeah, I think the solution, this solution, is probably the more straightforward one because it's more obvious what's actually happening. I think they're actually both doing just about the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. And it's more like... Uh, the other way around is kind of just a quirk of how TypeScript handles uh, Definitely. Uh, property keys. So I like this solution a bit more for understanding, but I do. Is that another way? That's to a, do this? this is a this is a nope. So this one doesn't work. And I saw mm. a lot of people submitting. Uh, one great thing about the type challenges repo on GitHub is that people submit answers that they can't figure out a solution to, and like they go as far as they could go with it. And this is really close. They're trying to infer uh, R from uh, from a template string or a type a string literal this doesn't work because it excludes symbol and number so we can see that up here it fails on this case with symbol and it fails on this case up here with number so we're only going to get out the types if we look at a2 we see that only bar is there it excludes the zero um, if we look at here a3 we see nothing is there because there's only if we put in something else like a1 or something like that um, we would see a1 would show up but yeah that's why that's why this one doesn't work it's really close but that's kind of the rub and that's what property key is after all property key is a union of string and number string or number or uh, symbol so cool yep yep <laughs>